I'm Mark Tremonti. I'm with Alter Bridge. For my whole career, I've used D'Addario strings. I'm always experimenting with tuning, so it's something that makes it necessary to have different string gauges because you can't really put a set of tens on a guitar that's tuned down to A. And D'Addario is patient with me to make it all happen. So we, um, we did uh, 20 of these. So I had, I commissioned an artist, Joe Fenton, if you look him up, he's got just killer, killer artwork. And, um, this is when I was thinking about getting a tattoo. I'm looking up all this art and I come across this and I'm like, yeah, that would be a great tattoo. Yeah. I'm like, well, why don't I just get it painted on the guitar instead? Way I don't have better. Any tattoos. Yeah. <laughs> so he painted this awesome thing. And this is just one of, t um, so after all these years went by, like, what should we do for your 20th anniversary with PRS? And we're thinking, should we do 20, the dime bag replicas where we do the same dents and the same sticker and all this stuff. And we got approvals from, um, uh, from the estate to, to do it. Um, or we, we could also do the Fenton thing. So we, we could only pull off the Fenton thing in time. So we uh, hired Joe, to, or Paul hired Joe to paint 20 guitars. And then- um, So he literally- They're all individual. Wow, yeah. so he literally painted there's those. No, there's not two the same. So they're all different imagery. Wow. Um, so they did 20 and uh, I'm talking to Joe. I'm like, yeah, well, that's cool. Cause I, I'm gonna pick one yeah. of the 20. And then I talked to Bev, I'm like, yeah, so, uh, She's like, yeah, we already sold this one to this and that. I'm like, wait, let me choose one before we, they all go. She's like, oh, you want one? I'm like, yeah. It's like, well, we already sold 20 to dealers, so we're going to have to make 21. <laughs> so I actually got on the phone with Joe and I got to say, hey, let's, uh, he had a couple ideas that I like. So I like the, um, the light emanating from the corner of one of his guitars. And he had this old guy on one of them. I'm like, let's do the old guy and the light and this and that. So he, um, oh, that's great. He painted it and then he, also did some stuff on the back. Oh it's, yeah, I love the Easter egg back there. Yeah, so it's that's like, like just for you. Nobody yeah, wants yeah, no, no, yeah. So it's, uh, you know, it's great. It's got the matte finish on it. Um, I don't play it much because um, I just don't want to get it. I don't want to mess sure. it up. Yeah, you don't want it looking like dime. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> and, I, and I'm a fan of, of guitars that have some dings in them. It's their life. I don't, yeah. I don't ever get mad when a guitar gets dinged yeah. up. When I was a kid, I hated it. Yeah, I had a, my, my old guitar. I would polish it every other day, and if anybody touched it, and they take off your belt. Yeah. Now they're all. Yeah, you had you know, one guitar. This is my <laughs> this is my nicest, prettiest, you know, that best kept guitar. Just yeah. with the art. Okay. Yeah. Beautiful, man. Well, that's that's great. Great to see the lineup.